I'll show you how to put together three quick Malaysian breakfasts at home in just 20 minutes. And a special place where I get the freshest free-range eggs. Malaysian makes soft boiled egg with this tool. Morning! It's Sarah from New Malaysian Kitchen. My married sister is coming back for breakfast, so we're making something fancier than usual. First, we're gonna make soft boiled eggs. Traditionally, Malaysian eat soft boiled eggs with soy sauce and white pepper. To make the best soft boiled eggs, we need to get fresh kampung eggs. This is the guy that we always get our eggs from. His name is Mohan and he can speak Cantonese. Homo! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mr. Mohan sells flowers in the day with his wife and peddles eggs at night. My family has been buying eggs from him since I was a child. My mom always says that Mr. Mohan's eggs are the best. Now, if you're wondering where the eggs are, wait for it! Can you see the eggs are hidden at the back of the flowers? On top of eggs, I also got some marriage advice. After my mother commented about the size of the eggs, we're heading home with these fresh, free range kampong eggs. Malaysian makes soft boiled egg with this tool. Put in a maximum of 4 eggs into this container. Pour hot boiling water in. Cover it and let the water drip until the container is empty. This is inside my Malaysian. There are 3 parts. A container to hold the eggs. A cover and a bowl to collect water drip out of a little hole at the bottom of the container. While the eggs are cooking in this tool, I'm going to heat up the dal and make a quick roti chanai. My family like to make a big batch of dal and put it in the freezer. So in here we have this frozen dal. I've already took another out yesterday night to tow. And then we also have frozen roti chanai. I pour it into a small pot, heat it up, and bring it to a boil. You can also add a little water if it's too thick. It's ready in just 5 minutes. If you want to learn to make this dal curry and clean up in just 25 minutes, check out my other YouTube video. I'll share the link at the end of this video. Next, we're gonna make roti chanai with this non-stick flat pan. The shortcut is getting frozen prata from the supermarket. With a non-stick pan, you don't have to put a single drop of oil. And it takes less than 2 minutes to cook. While my mother is making hot and sour mustard stew, I'm making roti chanai. Check out my video where my mother and I made shin lat choy with vegetables grown in our garden. Now our egg should be ready and it's time to crack it. Now we're going to put soy sauce and pepper. Breakfast is almost ready. What's left is just slathering Malaysia's famous kaya spread on toast. Brother-in-law got for us these amazing sauces from Dewakan. For breakfast, we are trying these. Salted egg kaya spread and sea grapes butter. The smell of palm sugar is so strong. Actually reminds me of dodo. I can't wait to taste it. Coconut jam, also known as kaya in Malaysia, it's made from eggs, coconut milk, and sugar. This particular one used salted egg and palm sugar instead. 
while it's unique, I prefer the original flavor. Let's try this sea grapes infused butter. I had sea grapes at a fine dining restaurant in Kuala Lumpur recently. Kalamanti sorbet. We have a little bit of black pork or sea grapes. I always feel like it's grapes or barbie doll, very small. And I like the crunch when I bite into it. This sea grape is found at a sea near Sampona at Sabah, East Malaysia. It's also known as vegan caviar. Although the texture is lost in the seaweed spread, but there's still a tinge of seaweed flavor left. You can eat soft white egg like this. Or drink it. What is your favorite Malaysian breakfast? Let me know in the comment box below and check out this video to see how to make roti canai and dal curry in just 25 minutes. See you there!